I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. As you can see, today we have a very special guest. My friend Maddie is here and she's going to be cooking with us today. I've been friends with Maddie's grandmother for a very, very long time. In fact, I attended her grandparents' wedding. I was on social media the other day and I noticed a post where Maddie had cooked dinner for her entire family. I knew right then I had to have her as a guest on That's My Jam. So Maddie, how did you get started cooking? Um, I really like food. That's a good answer. And do you just make up the recipes or how do you get the recipes you use? Mm, uh, sometimes I look them up on the internet and sometimes I just come up with something creative. Okay, wonderful. So Maddie's going to decide what we make today and I'm going to be her helper. So tell us a little bit about the dish that we're going to do today. Today we're going to do stuffed pasta shells with garlic bread. That sounds wonderful. All right, let's get started. All right, Maddie, what's the first ingredient we're going to need today? We're going to need some jumbo pasta shells. All right, and what are we going to do with those? We're going to boil them in some water. While the water is heating, we're going to add a dash of salt. Next, we're going to take some frozen broccoli and get it steamed. Our water is heating for our shells. Our broccoli is steaming. And what's our next ingredient? Now we're going to need some shredded mild cheddar. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? You can help by shredding the cheese. Okay. All right. Our broccoli is steamed now. So what are we going to do with it? Now we're going to put it in a big old bowl. A big old bowl? <laughs> We've got a big old bowl. Our next ingredient is going to be a jar of Alfredo sauce. And now we'll add it to the broccoli. Now our water is boiling, so we're going to put this entire box of jumbo shells. Perfect. Now that Stacy's got our cheese shredded up, now we're going to put it into the broccoli and Alfredo. Now we're going to mix it up. This is what it, the inside of the pasta shells are going to look like when it's done. Now that we're waiting for the pasta shells to get done, make sure to like and if you haven't already, subscribe. Our pasta shells are ready, so I'm going to have Stacy drain them. Now we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now we're going to use some of my family's favorite marinara sauce in this baking dish. Okay, so you're just lining the baking dish with the marinara? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yum. Okay. Stacy and I are going to start filling the pasta shells with the mixture. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, I've got my first one stuffed. What do we need to do with it? We need to place it next to that one. Okay, so we're just going to lay that on top of the marinara. All right. One of the great things about cooking is the way it brings people together. While we were stuffing the rest of the shells, Maddie told me about school, about her siblings, and about her pets. I, of course, had to talk about the old days and fun times with her grandmother, and even some stories about her dad when he was a little toddler. This was a great time for us to bond and get to know each other better. So it looks like we had enough for our 13 by nine pan and then we had a few extras that we put in this small pan. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. 
while the pasta is in the oven, we're going to get started on our garlic bread. All right, Maddie, I'll get this bread scored. Is that good enough? Do I need to go all the way through, or do you want it just like that and then you tear it off? Yeah, you put I think that's good enough. Okay. For our garlic bread, we're going to need some butter and some garlic and some chopped parsley. Are you excited about seventh grade? Yeah, I'm starting to get at new schools. So. Oh. <laughs> um, now we're going to take the garlic and the melted butter and spread it on each piece of bread. If I didn't cut it deep enough, let me know. I think it's good. So you got down inside each piece of where we cut the bread and then now you're just doing the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. It already looks delicious. Yes. All right. All right. Well, I chopped up the parsley, so you want to add that on top? Okay. Now we have some leftover shredded cheese and we're going to just add that on top. Now we're going to put this in the oven with the pasta. We're going to wait for the pasta to finish cooking when it gets around a little bubbly and then we'll give it a try. Maddie, this bread looks incredible and I already know that I'm gonna be dipping it in the pasta sauce. So apparently this is what happens when you leave the dog unattended, walk out of the room, but you also leave the camera rolling. Mm-hmm. Caught red-handed, Marley. Maddie, your shells look absolutely incredible and I can't wait to try them. We let these set for about five minutes and I think we're ready. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely want some extra sauce because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be dipping my garlic bread in that too. That's what I'm going to tear into first. Hmm. The bread is wonderful. A little butter, garlic, cheese, dip it in the marinara. So good. This pasta is crazy cheesy. It's got a wonderful marinara and just a hint of the broccoli. Maddie, this is wonderful. Yeah, it's one of my famous favorites. I'll bet it is. It's going to be one of my favorites now for sure. Hmm. Good grief. Madison, this has been so much fun, and I'm so excited to have a new recipe. I hope that you enjoyed yourself today. Yes. I hope you have a great start to the school year. I can't wait for you to come back and do it again. For everybody else, don't forget to tune in on Thursday. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.